So years ago, I got this cheapo drill from Harbor Freight, and I don't use it much anymore. I use my cordless drill a lot more, but I was thinking, you know, it might be cool to build up something and uh, mount this thing up and turn it into like a little mini lathe. Uh, so I'm gonna give that a shot and I'm gonna show you how I do it. I made the entire lathe from eight pieces of wood, most of which came from a single three quarter by three and a half inch board. The two pieces that support the drill are from a three quarter by one and a half inch board. There's a link down in the description to a PDF with diagrams and measurements if you're interested. My drill has a rounded part just behind the chuck and I wanted to make a wood piece to support the drill right at that point. I took a piece of three quarter by one and a half inch board and drilled a one and three quarter inch hole in it. Because the hole diameter is bigger than the board width and I don't have a drill press, it didn't cut cleanly so I had to flip the piece around to finish it off. I pre-drilled two holes in the horizontal support piece so I could screw it into the vertical pieces. I glued the rounded piece to the horizontal piece I pre-drilled holes for the two vertical support pieces. Each one got two screws. I glued and screwed the vertical pieces to the base and let those dry. I wanted to round over the bottom of the horizontal piece so a pipe band clamp would fit a little better. I just cut the corners off then rounded them over with a sander. And that piece got glued and screwed onto the vertical supports. The drill gets mounted upside down and it's held in position with two pipe band clamps and they do a really nice job of holding the drill firmly in place. I glued up three pieces of three quarter by three and a half inch board to make a sliding tailstock. I wanted to keep this simple so I could quickly make more to fit different projects. There's a bunch of different ways you can make a tailstock. My first project on the lathe will be to make fishing bobbers from old wine corks. So I just put a bit in the drill and push the tailstock onto the bit. And this simple hole will support the dowel that I'll use with the bobber. I can slide the tailstock to position it and then secure it in place with a clamp. It's not fancy, but it works. For speed control, I'm using a device I made years ago for an entirely different project. I took a three-prong extension cord, cut it in half, fed it into a plastic electrical box, and wired it up to a dimmer switch. It works quite well to regulate the speed on the drill. Okay, let's plug it in and fire it up. Make it rain sawdust. So there's the drill lathe. I think it turned out pretty nice. If you build one like this, I'd love to see a photo or a video. Uh, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos. Thanks for watching. Where is the flathead screwdriver? I don't know, I don't know.